What's up guys and welcome back with some more Honkai Impact and today we are checking out Raven Midnight Absinthe. I don't know why they call her Raven yet, I'm going to be honest, because when you go to her actual name it says Natasha if I'm correct. So I'm not sure why but I guess it's a nickname or it's something that I'll figure out in the story. But it is a character that just recently got into the game and that I wanted to check out, gameplay wise of course. So without further ado we're going to get straight into this. We got the attack. QTE and ultimate and evasion, the weapon, and then team synergy. We've got a, quite a bit to look at. And I wasn't talking about something else. <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> if you enjoyed this video, be sure, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you do. It's greatly appreciated. Listen, I, most of us, l listen, Miho, you knew what they were doing. Okay, it, that's all I'm going to say. Let's just get to the, the actual gameplay. Mihoyo doesn't just just do that for for nothing. You know what I mean? Midnight Absinthe is an IMG Valkyrie that boosts fire damage for the team. Also, I did build this character. I just haven't played as her yet. I've been waiting to make this video for like some days now, to be honest with you. But this music. Midnight Absinthe's basic attack leaves up to 20 feather arrows on the field. Alright. Let's see. Okay, what, what am I doing wrong? Okay, there we go. I was like, huh? I could have sworn I was mashing. Midnight Absinthe charged attack fires six feather blades and recovers all the feather arrows, feather blades, and feathers on the field to gain the same number of night roamer stacks. A lot of feathers. <laughs> I see she likes feathers. Charged attack. Alright, let's do it. Okay. Midnight Absence charged attack can be connected into basic attack sequence 5. I'm guessing that's what that stands for, right? And at 20 Night Roamer stacks, basic attack sequence 5 could also be used two additional times. Okay. Alright, let's see this. All right, let's do this thing. So you hold on and then... Okay, I got you, I got you. Yeah, I'm liking this so far. I like I like the whole gimmick that she has. All right, so it's like charge and then boom, boom, boom. Okay, she clean with it. She is definitely clean with it. Yeah, I mean, y'all know I love red and black. I just love the color combination. These arrows just stay there? That's so cool that they just stay there for a while like that. I like it. I like it. Okay. Alright, let's move on to the next thing. I can tell this is probably going to be a character I end up using a lot. Ah, flip of a coin, eh? I mean, she looked good and she definitely plays good. I want to see what that alt looks like, though. I want to see some of her, like, abilities that you could do with her weapons. That is what I'm curious about, and that's where we're about to get into the ultimate. Here we go. Alright, we got Kiana with us. Let's see how this goes. I mean, I'm hoping that, like, when I do get to her in the story, that she's really cool, too, though. I mean, I'm sure she has to be, right? Alright, let's see this. Night Moonbeam evades to trigger Global Time Fracture and Midnight Absence QTE. Okay. So do a little of that, Time Fracture. Alright, Midnight Absence QTE deals fire damage and leaves six Feather Blades on the field. Alright. In addition, when a teammate lands on a charged attack slash combo, attack slash ultimate team deals more fire damage and three Feathers are guaranteed on the field. Okay. Ultimate Evasion. Midnight Absence Ultimate Evasion triggers Global Time Fracture. As so. Okay. Tap attack immediately after evasion uh, is triggered to connect three... Uh, basic attack sequence three. Okay. A bounty coin will drop when an enemy is killed. Picking it up restores the Valkyrie's HP, only effective for Midnight Absence. Really? So I could get my health back with this character? I mean, obviously only for Raven, but... 
Okay. Alright, ultimate. Midnight Absence ultimate clears all Night Roamer stacks, boosts team fire damage, and summons a Raven Cloud to cover the field, making enemies within take more fire damage. I'm still stuck in that coin thing. That's actually really good. That is hella useful. Alright, let's see what she can do. Okay. Alright, that was quick. Definitely one of the quicker ults. Enemies within Raven Cloud are burned when hit by a combo attack slash charge attack slash ultimate and detonated when hit by teammates or midnight absence weapon active. Okay. Alright, I like it. I like it. Alright, so tap the Itron button to fill up or the Atron button to fill up the meter, whatever. Alright, let me try to mix it up with her a little bit. Get that QTE in, QTE in real quick. Then switch back. Start going crazy. And then boom, hit the alt. I like the alt though. Like, I like the presentation that this character has a bunch. Like, look at all this. You got all these damn birds all over. Well, this is why they call it Raven, huh? Those are Ravens. <laughs> I just thought about that. I'm like, the feathers keep. You know, the birds, you know, why wouldn't she be called Raven? <laughs> Duh. It all makes sense. Okay. You know, she's definitely cool. I like the whole gimmick that she has. All right, let's continue. On to the next one. Like, it doesn't feel like corny or anything, you know? I will say that. But yeah, now I get why she does the, the coin flip. You get some HP back after killing some enemies. That's damn good. I think... Is she the first bow character I have on my... Like, in this game? Now that I think about it. Because I know I don't have Fischl from Genshin, right? I don't have her yet. So... Yeah. I don't think... Like, I could be completely wrong, but right now, off the top of my head, I can't think of anybody else that I've played as that uses a bow. I'd have to look again. But I do not believe so. Alright. So now we're checking out what weapon? Why, oh, hello there. Midnight Absinthe wields a bow to attack enemies. Hold uh, the weapon to aim the bow. Oh, if Midnight Absinthe aims and hits the IMG enemies... Uh, Nihilis? Uh, Nihilus. That's a weird word. Okay. Uh, seed, weak spot. When the seed's HP is below 20%, the enemy's phase HP drops to zero. Okay. So this is the demonstration of it. When the seed's HP drops to 20%, well, below 20%, its HP bar becomes red trimmed. Okay. When aiming at the seed's weak spot, the crosshair turns red, indicating the enemy's phase HP can be reduced to zero one shot. So it lets you know when with the with the indicator there. All right, can I do it now? Obscuring wing could boost self total damage and team fire damage. So yeah, she's gonna be great for fire teams. With obscuring wing, hitting a weak spot could create a blast and deal fire damage. After casting Obscuring Wings active, every team member obtains three charges, which uh, make their attacks deal bonus fire damage. One charge is consumed every time it's triggered. Okay. So yeah, how do I do the, the aim? I'm a little bit Popega right now. Wait, so how is it that I actually... Oh, okay, there we go. It was holding on that. X. So I could be like, boom. All right, let me aim right there. Okay. I get it now. This ult's growing on me. It's nice. It's like, hey, we're going to keep it quick and sweet, and you get straight back into the actual gameplay. Oh, you want to shoot at the enemy? I love how it goes in slow motion, too. Go ahead. Yeah, I like that a lot, and then I just have to get a little bit better with that aiming. You know, she's she is sick. She is a very good. 
It's a good thing I, like, it's so funny. I'll build a character in the game and then just wait to do the video. And the whole time I'm just like, I built you really good. And I just have to wait. <laughs> I can't even play as you. But now, finally, you'll see me play as um Raven on videos and streams. And speaking of streams, tomorrow we'll be checking out, what is it, the post Honkai Odyssey? I believe that's what it's called. I'm sorry if I said it incorrectly, but I think that's what it's called. We'll be doing a live stream of that, so if you want to catch that, feel free to. Uh, what is, wait, what version of Kiana is this? Okay, oh, this is, huh. okay, I've never seen that before. I'm not, I'm not going to look too deep into that right now. <laughs> I won't even ask about that. This looks pretty unga bunga though. Pretty crazy. And obviously in the comment section, please uh, don't tell me like the story behind the battle suit. Like I'll wait to obviously see it in the story. Okay. Oh shoot. This thing going by itself. Midnight absence cast weapon active and then ultimate to boost team damage. All right. What are we dealing with here? Boom. And then what? You switch. Azure. Uh, Embrya. Uh, okay. Enters and cast weapon active plus ultimate to boost team damage. Excuse me? What am I looking at? Hersher of Flame... Uh, Flamesian. Enters on QTE and uses combo attack to enter Hersher form. Okay. She got a big crazy fire sword. Okay. After entering a Hersher form, Hersher of Flamesian uses basic attack in mid-air and then uses combo attack after heat drops, followed by more basic attacks to deal sustained damage. Okay. She is going crazy! How, ma how long could she swing in the air? Okay, so she uses her combo attack again and again. Well, I mean, not again and again. Uses a combo attack again after heat drops and finishes with ultimate. Holy crap. And then you still... What did I just see? Can so <laughs> Like, like, huh? And then I can fill up the SP. All right, so now it's my turn to do it. I don't even know who I'm playing as right here. I'm gonna be completely honest. Got no idea. Oh god, I was supposed to keep you in the air, huh? And then you could just go slash, 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 slash. Here, you want the alt? Can I do it? Oh damn, I didn't get to do it in the air like I wanted to. But holy crap, so this is what... What the hell? I know this video is about Raven, but like, holy crap! You crazy as hell! This character, that, what the? I'm trying, I gotta keep the focus on Raven here. But what in the world am I dealing with there? Ra Raven, where are you at? Where are you at? Okay, so we go here. Boom, 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 you're slashing. You're doing your thing. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, we switch. You start doing your thing. You throw your alt out there. Beautiful. Okay. I'm just trying to process this all. Try to mix it up here. This character right here is some nutty cokehead crap. Okay. Well, let's, um, I think, uh, I think I'm just gonna exit. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a head out over here. I don't know what I just saw, but that was insane. Is that Fuhua or something? I don't know who that is, actually. Is that? I don't know. I, I'm not even trying to look too deep into it right now. That might be Fuhua. Is that Fuhua? Can I look? No. Whatever. Uh, anyways, that just happened. Yeah, Raven's a pretty damn sick character. I know at the end that, uh, for sure, what is it, Flamesion or something? However you pronounce that, I probably pronounce it incorrectly. It was crazy, too. But I'm trying to keep the focus on Raven. My thoughts on Raven, a character that I'm going to use for fire teams for sure. I mean, the fact that it's a bow character, I like a bunch, you know. Bow characters has, have grown on me, I'll say. 
in games in general, you know? So I think she's she's nice. And they got a quick uh, ultimate, you know? Simple, but uh, sweet, as they would say. Um, it's cool that you could actually aim with the bow. It goes slow motion, you aim there, gets the red cursor, boom. Uh, the fact that a coin drops so you can get some health back is very useful also. And that the arrows end up staying on the ground and you're able to give a fire buff to your teammates is very, very useful also. So yeah, for any uh, fire teams that I'll have, Raven is most definitely useful. And I can't wait to actually see her in the story. Because I'm sure she's going to be a very interesting character. But other than that, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the description box below. My Twitter, Discord server for the community. Feel free to join the Discord server. We have a Honkai Impact channel and many, many other channels. And other than that, as I always say, stay safe and don't do crack. Be sure to subscribe to the Special K Experience if you enjoyed this video. If not, you're going to Femboy IHOP.